Hey, this is Bradley Chubb, and you're listening to The Snap. Hey, this is Cortland Sutton. Hey, this is Tim Patrick. And you're listening to The Snap, Snap with Sydney Jones on Broncos Podcast Network. Yeah! What's up, Broncos country? Welcome back to the Broncos Podcast Network and YouTube for the latest edition of The Snap. I'm your host, Sydney Jones. It is July. It's hard to believe training camp is right around the corner. Broncos fans, don't forget there will be 14 open practices this year for you all to attend in the official first day of training camp is July 27. But without further ado, let's welcome this week's guest, Peely Langman. Peely is the brand partnerships manager for West East Empire, a brand management and production company led by none other than Russell Wilson. Peely, it's such a pleasure having you on today. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. How's it going? How's the summer treating you so far? It's going well. Uh, I'm currently located in Seattle, so we've had some crazy weather, like Ooh. a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of like dark days, a few dark days in between, like bright, sunny, 90 degree days. Like it's kind of weird. <laughs> it has been extremely hot here in Denver, I have to say, hoping it cools down a little bit by the time training camp rolls around, which is so soon. I can't believe it. Okay. Fingers crossed. Good Lord. <laughs> well, Peely, let's dive right in. You know, for some of my listeners who might not know, what is the West East Empire and what does your role with the company entail? Yeah. Um, I mean, you kind of kicked it off. So we, West East Empire is a brand management um, and a production company. What we like to tell our audience is that we're a storytelling company. You know, we're here to, to tell stories. It was founded by Russell Wilson in 2014, and it's basically Russell's off the field team. Um, we handle all of Russell's endeavors off the field. And uh, Russell started it probably as like a uh, means for him to take control of his own story and be able to tell his story his way. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of creative people uh, under our company, but a lot of business savvy people as well. And um, we take care of, of Russ and, and his dreams and, and goals and to be able, we're here to be able to impact the world. That's what we say. I love it. Peely, what does your day-to-day -day on the job kind of look like? I know, you know, many of us in the sports industry, every day looks a little different. So, you know, I assume that's the same case for you. Same case. No two days are alike. Um, like you said earlier, I'm a brand partnerships manager for Russ and, and for, for the West East Empire team. And day-to-day -day is a little bit of everything. Like I, it's, my role is very marketing heavy. Um, I take care of pretty much in simple terms, fulfilling contractual obligations for Russell's brand relationships. Um, whether those are companies that he owns and, you know, that require things from him or um, companies that he's a brand ambassador for. Um, so it's a little bit of everything, but it's very marketing heavy. One day I'm a project manager. The next day I am an event planner because we have an activation. Um, the next day we're in a meeting designing shoes. Like it's a little bit of everything, um, but project manager by way of problem solving and a lot of marketing work. Um, yeah. Now, I know you used to work um, on the social media side of the company too, being a social I do. media manager. You'd still do that? Yes, I still do that. Um, I started, that was kind of like my way into defining my current role. So I started with a company four and a half years ago. And um, I started doing a lot of work for Russell's football camps and then subsequently a little bit for his foundation. And it started with social. Um, we didn't have somebody internally who who took care of um, managing our social media account. So it sort of there, and I still do a lot of social media work, um, especially when it comes to brand relationships. That's what, you know, brands want these days. They want social media, you know, right. work. So it's, it's very marketing and social media heavy. Gotcha. Now, how did you get your start, you know, with West East Empire? And how did you get linked up with Russell? Yeah, I'll give you the long, the, the short story because it's okay. a long story. Uh, but long story short, I went to Florida State University. I worked for the athletics department there, did a lot of internships and got to meet this guy named Trevor Moa. Um, Trevor was our football team's uh, mental conditioning coach. So somebody who came in and trained them from a mental perspective. Um, and he just, he happened to be Russell Wilson's private mental conditioning coach at the time. I didn't know this, uh, but we forged a relationship and one day called me, I don't know where he's like, so it, probably four months before I graduated, he's like, what are you going to be at practice today? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, well, I'll meet you there. And then he at practice is like, what do you want to do? And he started asking me all these questions, basically like an interview. By the end of the day, he's like, I want to open up my connections to you. 
I think, I think you're have a great work ethic. I love how you work. He had seen me work for a few months at that point. And then he just said, um, I work for Russ and I, I think they're building something, something they're building a company and you should meet, you should meet them, just take it away. So he introduced me to the guy who at the time was Russell's business manager and chief operating officer. His name was Vic Weiss. And it went from there. We had a few interviews, emails back and forth. I was like, I don't know what you would need before, but I have these skills. <laughs> and <laughs> he's like, right. yeah, it, you know, it's, he didn't say these words verbatim, but he basically was like, well, we don't know what we would need you for, but we need help. We, we need hands. So right. yeah, that's, you know, it, I started as an intern in 2018 and four and a half year, years later, here I am. Wow. It, it's all about who, you know, really isn't it? Yeah, it really is in this in small industry, super for small. Sure. Well, like you mentioned, you've been with the company for a couple of years now. So how have you seen Russ's brand really grow and his company grow since you've been there? Yeah, it's been super cool to see it grow. I mean, he like, he, he, in the best way possible, he's not the same. He was four, five, four and a half to five years ago. I mean, they right. were doing amazing work when I came in, um, we were, but, but, but the growth has been exponential and crazy. Like the, we had a third of the partnerships wow. back then that we have today, yeah. like from, from every angle, from a business angle, from a philanthropic angle, like the campaigns and initiatives that we've been able to, you know, to bring to life four and a half years later have been so cool. Um, he had an opportunity to build this really, really cool thing in Seattle. And now we have a, an even bigger opportunity to do it in a new market. So right. um, we're growing and, and to see that through and to also be a part of it, you know, to be able to have my ideas being taken into consideration and to contribute to how we grow and how we expand. It's been super cool. Yeah. Obviously a lot of change this year for Russ, you know, leaving Seattle, being traded to the Denver Broncos back in March, you kind of mentioned this, but what challenges came with, you know, working with all these brands, these partnerships and companies as, you know, Russ is in a new city, he's playing for a new team. Yeah. See, you know, I'll, I'll say this, of course, there's been challenges, right? Like there's right. going to be a challenge with any type of change, For sure. but I'll flip it around and say, there hasn't been that many challenges so much, so much as there's been opportunities. Like it's so cool to be able to go into a new market and take existing partnerships and take new partnerships and see what we want to do. Like just it's a, it's a blank canvas. So there's been a lot of opportunity. We haven't even tabbed into the actual season yet, you know? So we, right. who knows what will come once we get there, but it's been, it's been really cool. Um, a lot of opportunity to, to just explore the new market, see what they want to see from us, what, how they want to be impacted. How can we come in and, you know, and take the market as it is and grow it and, um, and impact, you know, like create, um, we just launched a partnership with, uh, from a philanthropic standpoint with Safeway in the local oh. area. Um, we just did a football camp for about 500 kids uh, through the Russell Wilson Passing Academy. Like that's been super cool. We're launching a few new partnerships this, this uh, coming fall as we hit the season. So it's just been super exciting. Yeah, kind of going off of that, what does this change really mean, you know, for you and your position as, like you mentioned, you have different partnerships here now in Denver and such? Yeah, um, great question. I mean, it's, to me, it's really exciting. So I'm stepping just as of recently into a new kind of settling into my, my, my new role, my brand, brand managers, uh, brand relationship manager role, yeah. brand partnership manager role. And what's really exciting from my individual perspective is that now I get to build my own relationships and I get to do, right. you know, and I get to lead my own projects and like push through um, ideas from my standpoint to make his portfolio of endeavors, his whole life right. better and in the yeah. world. So uh, it's really exciting from an individual perspective because it's just opportunity at every door, you know, it's opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. And I'm super ready to like take this role and run with it. Like so, so eager. That's awesome. I know the second Russell got here in Broncos country, everyone has just loved him. Everyone is so excited. There's so much optimism, you know, for this season, who he is as a person, what he brings to the community, but for you, Peely, you know, what's it been like working with him over the years? It's been a blast. And I know, you know, that it's not a cop out answer. I promise. It's no. just, it's been so fun. Um, I don't think I would be the kind of professional I am today. Had I had 
a different start to my career after school. Like this working with him in such a, I'm going to call it weird company (laughs) is it's been so fun because I have a lot of autonomy. I'm 26 years old and I have a lot of autonomy. I've had a lot of opportunity to grow and to, like I said earlier, bring ideas to the table and have those ideas be heard. And, um, if you were to compare that to a corporate setting or a different kind of setting, maybe I wouldn't be who I am today, right? Like, if, who knows? I might be a great person as well, and I might have a lot of under my belt <laughs> right. as well. But, but it's just been it's just been so fun. Um, nothing I could have mapped out or really imagined. That's amazing. Yeah, Russell seems like an incredible not only player, but person as well. So it's exciting for us, you know, here in the building to get to know him a little more and see what he does in this next chapter of his career. Yeah, for Philly, for you, you know, what excites you about this next chapter for Russ, not only in his career, but like you mentioned in his work outside it's, of the field. It's a, it's a little bit of what I said before, but I'm going to yeah. say it now in different words. Like it's the thought of what's ahead and the opportunity that comes with that. Um, actually my mentor, the guy who connected me with Trevor, uh, with Russell, Trevor, um, he, he used to always say this thing that now Russell says to our team all the time. And that is the best is ahead. The best is ahead. And like, if you apply that to what we have in front of us and the thought of, you know, going to Denver and heading into a new season, all those things, the best is ahead. Like that's just, we're thrilled. I love that. I mean, that's a, just a really great motto for life. You know, Peely, just a couple more here for you. Why did you originally want to get into this industry? You know, what made you get into this industry? Yeah. So, um, first of all, I'm not originally from the United States, so I didn't really grow up. uh, I'm from Panama. I didn't really grow up super immersed watching all sorts of, all sorts of sports. Now we do watch sports in Panama and we have, (laughs) you know, all kinds of things, but I just, I just didn't. And then when it came time for me to decide a career, I was like, okay, I'm going to go into communications because, because that's what it sounds appealing. Right. Um, and when I got to Florida state, I transferred to the Florida state campus. A little bit of a backstory here. Florida state has a campus in Panama. So I did my first two years there. And then I moved over to the Florida, uh, the actual Florida campus. When right. I did that, I got there in spring and this is spring, 2014. And my first day of class was January 6, 2014, which was the day Florida State played the national championship against Auburn. Oh, wow. And I was like, what a way to start. Like, <laughs> this is just phenomenal. Right. It just wrapped me, the culture, like the, the football culture, the sports culture. We ha- were a really, really big school. So it was just so fun. Like, I was like, I want to be a part of this. Like, how can I do that? And then, and then I realized, well, I can actually make a career out of this. Like, it's not something I was like, oh, yeah. my God, I'm going to go into sports. It was more so, this is so fun. I don't want to let it go. And once I was in it and I got my first internship in football recruiting, I was like, not letting it go. This, yeah. this is it. <laughs> so um, that's, that's pretty much it. And then, you know, one step at a time, I've been able to build a career. I haven't really mapped out. It's, it's never been like, okay, this is going to be my next move. And then I need to do right. this. Um, I haven't had that, but I've been able to do it as I go, which has been awesome. Well, last one for you, Peely, you know, what's one piece of advice you would give someone who's looking to get into, you know, this industry or a similar industry, what would you tell them? So that's a hard question because there's so many things, you know, I want to say, right. Yeah. Uh, But I'll just simplify it to this. Don't stop. If you want it, if you really want it, don't stop because a lot of people stop along the way. A lot of people are like, nah, you know, it's, I'm just going to do something else. Or like, ah, uh, no, I, I'm not going to reach out to the person on LinkedIn. Or like, ah, uh, no, I'm not going to send that thank you letter. But don't stop because I promise you, you'll stand out. And and if, if you don't stop, you're signaling to the person who's already in the industry, the person who's hiring, that you want it so bad that, you know, you're going to make Whatever. it easy for right. them to say yes to you. I love that. Great advice. Great advice. And that's a great way to end this episode. Peely, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been so fun getting to know you and more about your role. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this week's episode. Thanks so much to all of you for tuning in. And thanks again to Peely for joining me. Broncos Country, make sure to follow the Broncos Podcast Network on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest episodes of The Snap. I will see you all next time for Training Camp.